I'm James Veach. I get a ton of scam emails, but instead of deleting them, I decided to hit reply. Today, I had a weird conversation with a guy called Solomon Adonka about some gold. Here's what happened. Hello, James Veach. I have an interesting business proposal I want to share with you, Solomon. I was like, Solomon, your email intrigues me. Go on, go on. He said, dear James Veach, we shall be shipping gold to you. You will earn 10% of any gold you distribute. So I knew I was in safe hands. I said, how much is it worth? He said, we will start with a smaller quantity. I was like, ah. And then he said, of 25 kilograms, the worth should be about $2.5 million. I said, look, Solomon, if we're gonna do it, let's go big. I can handle it. How much gold do you have? He said, it's not a matter of how much gold I have. What matters is your capability of handling. We could start with 50 kilograms as a trial shipment. I said 50 kilograms? There's no point doing this at all unless we're shipping at least a metric ton. He said, what do you do for a living? I said, I'm a hedge fund executive bank manager. This isn't the first time I should bully in, my friend. No, no, no. I was like, now look, where are you based? I don't know about you, but I think we're going via the postal service. It ought to be signed for. I mean, it's a lot of gold, you know? He said, it will not be easy to convince my company to do a large quantity shipment. I said, Solomon, I am completely with you on this one. I am putting together a visual for you to take into the board meeting. Hold tight. I said, Solomon, attach this email. You'll find a helpful chart. I've had one of my assistants run the numbers. I'm no statistician, but I think there's definitely something, some, there's, definitely, there's definitely something going on. I've discovered an undeniable correlation. We need to be shipping as much gold as possible. He said, I will be so much happy if the deal goes well, because I'm going to get a very good commission as well. And I said, that's amazing. What are you going to spend your cut on? And he said, on real estate. What about you? I said, one word, hummus. It's going places. I was at the grocery store the other day and there are like 30 different varieties. Also, you can cut up carrots. I'm not going to rip them. Have you ever done that? Solomon! He said, I have to go to bed now. Till tomorrow, have sweet dreams. I said, bonsoir, my golden nugget. Bonsoir. I said, Solomon, I'm concerned about security. When we email each other, we need to use a code. And he agreed. And so I said, that's amazing. I said, Solomon, I spent all night coming up with this code. We need to use it in all further correspondence. Lawyer, gummy bear. Bank, cream egg. Legal, fizzy cola bottles, claim peanut M&M's, documents, jelly beans, Western Union, a giant gummy lizard. Please call me Kit Kat and all further correspondence. I didn't receive any more back from him, so I was like, I've gone too far. I said, you know, Solomon, is the deal still on? Kit Kat. He did reply and he said, the business is on and I'm trying to raise the balance for the, 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 the. I said, dude, you have to use the code. What followed is the greatest email I've ever received. The business is on, and I'm trying to raise the balance for the gummy bear so he can submit all the needed fizzy cola bottle jelly beans to the cream egg for the peanut M&M's process to start. Send 1,500 pounds via a giant gummy lizard. Just, just subscribe, I and mean, why not just subscribe? How hard is it? It's not hard. Just subscribe. Subscribe. Um, yeah, I think you should just subscribe.